Hi, I'm Ed, and today I'm going to go ahead and show how to install a extend a shower inside of a Mallard M185 uh, camping trailer. Uh, reason for this is because inside the shower system here, it is very cramped quarters and very difficult to kind of take a shower and be very comfortable. Most of the time, the uh, curtains are basically sticking to you or you're standing on them and it's very difficult to really you know, kind of move around and do what you need to do inside the, here for the shower system. So uh, this extended shower is designed to be able to kind of give some extra room inside the shower and when not in use it actually folds back inside the shower system as well so that way we can go ahead and hang like wet clothes and stuff like that instead of uh, constantly having to put uh, like little hooks and stuff like that. So it's going to make it a lot easier and uh, it's it should be a pretty easy install. Okay, so just diving into the box uh, initially, there's not much to this. It's basically just uh, three major bars and then just a box, of, or sorry, a little bag of screws. So the way this works is it just basically kind of forms a trapezoid that's going to go up here. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is obviously make sure this is, uh, this is strong enough, but I'm going to go ahead and remove the screws for this uh, rod right here and go ahead and pull it off on both sides. And that's approximately where I'm going to be putting the, uh, uh, the mounting points for this guy. So... It's always still a good idea to still use some sort of a stud finder um, on the uh, trailers because sometimes you're not really sure exactly where the studs are. So, so it looks like right here where the original one was is probably going to be a still a decent spot as long as I stay up high on the on the shower. So we should be fine. So right in there. All right. Okay, so we got the extended shower installed now, and this gives us a lot more room before. Uh, the shower curtain was sitting right about here, and so it's, that's one of the problems with, especially if you're just a little bit bigger, you're kind of rubbing up against this, it's wet, it sticks to you, it's just annoying. So now, it extends way out here, so it gives, you know, what, that's what, three or four inches? Which is, it just doesn't sound like a lot, but it's uh, in a small confined space, it means quite a bit. The only thing is, the uh, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to kind of slide these over, just kind of, kind of guide them as, as you're... Uh, as you're moving the uh, the rod, uh, sorry, not the rod, the curtain uh, on the clips all the way back, um, and that's basically it. So um, this can also be it's really easy. You just kind of grab the one, the one corner, you move it in, and you grab the other corner and kind of push it back. And so now this is extended rod sitting inside the shower area. And so now I can go ahead and hang uh, like uh, wet bathing suits, towels, and stuff like that from right here. Uh, the only other thing I left to do after mounting this is the holes that were remaining from the previous uh, shower curtain rod to maybe get some dilap or something like that in order just to kind of seal this up or give maybe a little cap kind of like the ones that are already in the shower and that's basically it so this is the view from the uh from the from the toilet side of the shower here go ahead and just again just grab it like this pull back and then there you go that's in the extended position so it's not spring loaded or anything it's but it's really easy to to move and to wield so overall I think this is a uh, I'm not going to dread uh, taking a shower now, and especially considering the fact that uh, uh, we got lucky, the uh, light fixture is actually sitting right here, so when this is extended out, uh, the light goes right into the shower area, so it's not uh, dark and drabby either. So, Okay, so that concludes the install of our uh, extended shower. It's really, really simple. It, all it was is uh, four screws on the, on the ends, and then uh, one screw at, at each of the, the pivot points, and so it was really stupid simple. All the directions are also uh, kind of on the back of this, but uh, uh, again, this is uh, really easy to use, and uh, honestly, I can't wait to take a shower in this thing, because uh, we just kind of test out and see how much more room I actually have. Uh, if this video was helpful to you at all, go ahead and hit the uh, like and subscribe button um, on here, and get lots of other great videos uh, showing how to do improvements to various uh, RV campers. Specifically, ours is a Mallard M185, but a lot of the things that I cover uh, can be used in various other uh, type of camping uh, systems. So, cheers.